Beating estimates, Korea's Samsung Electronics posted a third quarter earnings estimate of 5.6 percent. It's largely attributed to a pickup in chip and display earnings that likely offset the impact of a global smartphone recall that has roiled the tech giant. Now, in stark contrast, local rival LG's earnings dropped in the third quarter, weighed down by its mobile business. Our Kim Min Ji reads into the numbers. Samsung Electronics' third quarter earnings estimate topped expectations despite a global recall of its Galaxy Note 7 smartphone. According to the company's earnings guidance, operating profits stood at nearly 7 billion U.S. dollars during the July to September period. That's up about 5.5 percent from a year ago, but down over 4 percent from the previous quarter. Sales are estimated to have fallen over 5 percent on year to $43.9 billion. The operating profit figure beats a recent market consensus by roughly $300 million. That's despite a global recall of the Note 7, which is estimated to have cost Samsung up to $2 billion. The tech giant has been offering replacements or refunds after reports of the device catching fire while charging. Although Samsung didn't specify the amount of losses it incurred from the Note 7 recall, the mobile division's operating profit is expected to fall under $3 billion. So we can say the company's better-than-expected performance came from its other sectors, like chips and display. Samsung's local rival LG Electronics didn't fare as well as its earnings guidance fell below market expectations. According to its regulatory filing, its operating profit came to roughly $253 million during the third quarter, down 3.7 percent from a year ago. The figure is down more than 50 percent from the previous quarter. Sales edged down almost 6 percent on year to $11.6 billion. Although LG's home entertainment and household appliance divisions have been cash cows for the company, its mobile arm is expected to post a loss for a sixth straight quarter. The company saw tepid sales of its flagship G5 smartphone back in March, and sales of its newly launched V20 will not be reflected in the latest quarter. Both companies will release their finalized earnings reports later this month with a breakdown of performance by sector. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.